um, night porter here. And outside, just that window, is where everyone was hanged. This room feels nice. It's uh, quite noisy at night. Is anyone there? Can you tell us your name? Did you know that? Yeah. I can get it now. Um. Oh, fucking Jesus! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking man, Jesus, man! It's cops. It's just cops. <laughs> no. Is it? Come here. Bring it up. <laughs> Sorry for oh, the wow. oh, that's really cool. Shit. It is really cool. Yeah, I know. It's awesome, isn't it? And this door is openable from this side, yeah? No. I just want this to be documented. If I fucking die, this is all has his fault. Yeah. It was easy to do it like a band aid. Yeah. Alright, come on. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> has anyone got a torch? Thank you. Right by there. I'll keep checking to make sure nothing's behind cool. Nothing's behind you. <laughs> yeah, we've only got access to the stairs. So there's a boiler room on your left, and there's also, we can go What's on that? your. Who's room? That's where, like where you locked, locked Jack Torrance in the Shining. Oh, check it out! Holy shit, no. Oh, yes, our right, fuck it, go. <laughs> Go check it out. Mm. Oh, it's all the food. <laughs> We've hit the mother load, boys. We're here. <laughs> we found it. That'd be a lime cleaner at this point. Yeah. Oh, it's on. Yeah. 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 Get back there. <laughs> More yeah. that you died. <laughs> you found the cake. cake. <laughs> Our grandmaster plan has been unleashed. Ah, that's all we ever wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Lemon meringue. Jokes on them, we never were. <laughs> 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 Holy fuck, ghosts. Walking, creeping. Yeah, I know. I'm, yeah. Please. Please. No, we really don't. We're just trying to not to be scared. Yeah, Look, that's outside, yeah. One of the exits. We can still do the courtyard. Do you know, these things disappear from my existence for many, many years, and in the past three days, I've seen them. You're gonna need that light, Connor. I don't know, I've got like a fucking baby torch. And you want it, Connor, to just have that? Don't leave. Oh, God, that's just horrible as it is. Oh, that's cool. Oh, God. Every fucking door. Uh, do we want to go in the boiler room? Mm. Or... Oh, God, it's opening my soul. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's now it's closing open. again. That is now it's opening again. I'm going to close one. That's a no from me, dog. Yeah, that's locked. Let's oh, keep really? that locked. <laughs> you really just like uh, Do you want to look in the boiler room? I'll go in on my own. Oh, God. I can do it. I'll let you. <laughs> I'll let you. <laughs> I'll let you. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just that like, excited. I'm going ahead. I'll do it with you. It's fine. Do you want me to go in with the camera or leave it? Uh, I think it pass it to me if you want. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, here's my torch. Uh, yeah, we can't get up there though. What? Ooh, fuck that shit. It looks like I'm going in on my own. Can we turn the lights? It's very uh, fucking Pennywise in there. So, I mean, how long are we going to go turn these lights on, yeah? Which ones? The main ones, because we've done this bit now. Right at the end. Go on, we can power through. See anything? Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, there's fucking noises behind me, dude. Really? Come on, let's get out of here. Fuck this, I just heard noises. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so we were in the boiler room, or well, Connor was in the boiler room, and I heard a noise behind me, so I turned round and then something touched Connor in the boiler room. So he fell out and fell over a box of glasses and smashed them all. You guys alright? They're not smashed. Yeah, Connor tripped over a box of glasses. We got, we got damage! <laughs> Never mind, we're going to tell Amir what's happened. Let's go back up, guys.
Yeah. We should enter every room by shouting him in. Oh, sorry, man. <laughs> Just hit the cameraman with the door. Uh, right, so the next place to go is to the cells. Okay. You feeling it? <laughs> yeah, man. Feeling spicy? Spicy burrito. burrito. So there we go. Let's go for the Daddy cat way. burrito. Seriously, didn't mean to do that, by the way. <laughs> that was what I meant. Look at all these mirrors. This is what freaks me out. Look at yeah, all these mirrors. Um, this is like that fucking film mirrors. Mirrors. Connor, you ready? ready? switch the mic volume up again on the bottom thing. To the right. Yeah, I think it's to the right. I'll there you go. Is it still tick? You guys just hear that? Yeah, you oh, pushed yeah. the door a tiny bit. No, I didn't. There was like a bark. What? I heard like Burt. a... Like a dog bark. I heard burp. I didn't touch shit. I didn't hear anything. Right, you ready, Connor? I heard burp. 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 I heard they have the, um... The measure us. Measure. You are not that's six not, foot two. That's not on the ground. No, it's not. That's not accurate. No, I'm not. I'm six three. Oh, what? I don't like that corridor there. So that's the stairs to where we just were. No. Nope. Um, yeah. Into your room too. Mhm. it up. For good reason. Present and visit room. I don't know where we can and can't go. That goes upstairs. What? Mm -hmm. It's been boarded off. There's a door there with a key in the lock. That you is... said we can go out there. Is that the court? The... That's where, exactly where they hang people. That hang is... People. Is that an old um, metal door from the prison? Is it metal? Yeah. Someone's stomach just rumble. Or like growl. I get gassy, alright? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Brad. No, I think he was trying to establish that it wasn't the demon. Yeah. Let's uh, check outside. Okay. Motherfuckers leave me. Everyone step back. <laughs> yeah. Just in case. <clears throat> So this is where they hanged people. Someone's going to be kicking that fucker open. Oh god. Oh. Oh no. Mm. What do you reckon? Do you need EVP out here? Um, uh, do you need an EVP? <clears throat> oh, is that leading back up to the main door with the window open? Yeah. Yeah. They have like friggin' seed balls, whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Only film that way, dude. Yeah. So, yeah, this is where the calories were. There it is. This is like where the other people should do it here. Yeah, we should. I, I agree. Thing is, I agree with you. Not happy about it, but I agree with you. You are correct, also fuck you, Has. I'll get out in the corner or something like that. Uh, rolling. Sweet. Oh, he's getting professional now, rolling. I'm rolling. So we've decided to do another EVP outside because this is in the spot where they hang people. So the gallows were just here behind us. As you can so, tell, I'm not too impressed with this. No, no one likes this idea, but we kind of feel like you guys might like it. <laughs> yeah, we kind of have to. <laughs> yeah. Peer um, pressure. So if there's anyone here, please can you tell us your name? Don't ask them to throw shit, please. <laughs> please try and tell us your name if you're here. If you were hanged here, please tell us what you were hanged for. Please try and move anything in the space around us. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry guys. You okay, Connor? Some deep sighs. 
<laughs> I just can't stop sweating. I sweat for five hours straight. It is gross. <laughs> you haven't had this much cardio from just being awake. <laughs> <laughs> I think sweating, it's like, how is this possible? That's a scary door to close. <laughs> so these are the old thingy me bobs. Thingy me bobs. The cells. Yeah. Ah. That's better. <laughs> Come on, do you want You'll be fine. You are now entering the twilight zone. Yeah, uh, that's the cellar. That's yeah. why we're just... Did we look in here, guys? Uh, hello. There's beds in there for the cool store. Medical. Examination room. I heard a bang. Great. Love that. We're going towards the bang. Yes, this is where Silent Hill kicks in. Yeah, all the walls. Well, it's already started up here. When the light came on. Yeah, it did. Isn't that what one? this is? Yeah. I think there is a motion sensor. That's a Wi-Fi hub. Now in here, I think. That's the Wi-Fi right there. Yeah. The cat's a wiffy. <laughs> Jack's <laughs> those whiffs. <laughs> those whiffs. <laughs> Is this why they do the shifts? I don't know. What this is. I like that it says, please do not move. Monday, Tuesday. Sunday's gone. <laughs> <laughs> and Monday to... I'm Tuesday. On Monday, come on. Oh, it's just an office. Yeah, this is right. This is where we're not supposed. Oh, we can be in here. We can be in this bit. Uh, I feel bad that we're just kind of messing with people's office. Okay. So I just heard something there. It's has turning the light off. In here. Oh. So these are the cells. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, of course they are. Oh, now that's what I'm talking about. Is actually a urinal still in this one? Why is there a wedding cake just there? In the same. <laughs> That's nice. And where else would you store your wedding cake? Um, oh, Connor, can I get more white over here, guys? Yes, sir. <laughs> just like at this end cell over here, because I can't Ooh, see around it. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Getting frosty in my arms, with my back towards this cell. Let's go over this way together. Hey, do you want to go first? Yeah, I'll go. Yep. No. no. Really? Yeah, it's getting a nice shot. Guys? Yeah? Is it okay? Uh, there's butterfly things. There's what? You know when you pin butterflies to a board? Who? Yeah. Mara and Danny been here? <laughs> Maybe. And uh, Ooh. baby chairs. Oh, that's a really creepy combination. That's where the bed would have been there. Yeah, uh, do we do an EVP in the cell? Yeah, maybe. Can I put the lights on out here? Please. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, don't leave me, Connor. It left me a fucking dark cell. Door <laughs> <laughs> just clears the light. God, that'd be horrible. Do they open the little hatch rings right there? Very nice. I mean, it's better, but oh, it's yeah. not ideal. Yeah, maybe. Four. We'll test another EVP reading now for in the cells in the basement. I'm gonna put this in here to try and, <laughs> try and keep as quiet as possible. Um, is there anyone in this cell at the moment? If there's anyone in there, can they tell me their name? It's a whistle. A torch. No, it sounds like a whistle down at the bottom. Might be my nose. <laughs> if there is anyone in here, what were you locked in here for? Thank you for answering the questions. <laughs> if you did, we appreciate it. Please don't haunt us. Nice little chopping board if anyone needs one. Spicy. <laughs> the lights are off. What? The lights are off. It's the motion sensor. Oh, okay. I think Jordan likes it. Tell you what, these cells are tall ceilings. 
He mm. freaking dove around the corner there. <laughs> like, what'd you find? What'd you find? It was dark. Yeah, guys. Get some of that small torch action. It's fucking. There you go. Okay, come on now. <laughs> How did you have that on in the first place? Uh, I was trying to get that little torch action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't be very upset. No, he, he is working, don't forget. Uh, um, candle in the eye. Terrified. Awesome. Terrified. Should we head up to the room, get some air con? Yep. I am feeling better now we're at the room. Mm. Much better. How are you guys feeling? Better at the room. <laughs> I feel awesome. Yeah. I'm glad to be awesome. Let's get inside and get some cold. Come on, bravest of us all. Good job, so cameraman as well. Yeah. <laughs> Too brave. Okay. Is that everything? I think so. So we boost the uh, audio now quick, see if we hear anything, and then open that envelope. Cool. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome. We're opening a thing. How, how long has it been? Uh, that's a good question. I don't even remember. <laughs> when it was really hot. Yeah, it, it was summer when we recorded that ghost thing, and now it's winter. So it was quite a while ago. Well, it's fall. It's fall, sorry, yeah. The spookiest time of the year. <laughs> it's the spookiest <laughs> time of the year. I feel bad opening this a lot. Filled with you, you lots pull, and stuff. And lots and lots yeah. of fear. I'm saying things. It says oh. do not open. It says do not open. Well, but we are. Oh. So, in the video that you've... Ooh, fucking... It came back. <laughs> <laughs> so, in the video that you just saw, we did a couple of EVPs. We did get a name... Well, I think I got a name, Howard, out of one of the cells. And that he had killed killed someone. And Helen at the time had mentioned... I had completely forgot. I completely forgot about this. That Helen had mentioned hearing a woman's name. Like... In her mind's brain. brain. Like psychic... In her psychic, mind brain. In her mind brain. With the psychic waves. So, so take one each. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like... All right. Half. Do you want to start? Yeah. So you get you yeah. Start, start reading through that. So um. Your story, Jordan man. <laughs> um. Just wait one second. All oh, right. So I was just right. I I can't read. Um. He's a specimen. <laughs> Nutsford became the place of execution after Chester Chester Castle became a military establishment, and the role of House of Correction changed to a goal. I'm guessing that's jail. Yeah. Goal. Only eight Goal. executions took place here from 1886 to 1917. All this has been written down by Hannah, yeah, by the way. Loads of stuff this is the here. first time we opened it. Yes. Should we first check if we've got either of the names? We don't have Owen McGill. I don't no. Know so the first is Owen McGill. Yeah. Second is Thomas H. Bevon. 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 Um, third is Richard Davies. The fourth is Felix Spicer or Sp Spiller. I don't know Spicer, what that says. I I've Spicer. got William Hancox. He loves to handle those cocks. Edward Hartigan, James Phillips, and finally John Williams, master so, composer of Star Wars. So none of them. No, we didn't get any of them. Names all wrong. How there we go. What are you playing at? You can't. You can't say that we <laughs> fake this shit now because no, no, we got all, all that wrong. On, all honest. Yes. All honest with you. So do you want to go through what they actually did anyway, just for some Halloween so, spooky times? First one's Owen McGill. He was 39. Bastard. <laughs> so she's put 22nd of February 1886. I don't know if that's when he died. I don't know if that's when he was born, but that's fine. I'm guessing it's the death date. Yeah, I'd hope. Think. Yeah. yeah, maybe. So he was an Irish farm laborer. He was hanged for the murder of his wife, Mary. So after Mary had stopped Owen from getting into a fight with a couple of farmhands, she calmed him down and prepared his tea. Um, okay. in, in the evening, a neighbour saw Mary run screaming from the house. Soon after, another neighbour saw Owen standing over her, telling her to get up. Next morning, Owen visited his cousin, telling her, um, yeah, telling her to come as quickly as his wife was ill. 
but Mary was dead when the cousin arrived at the house. Oh, shit. Owen told the police that Mary had fallen off of the car the day before, but his story didn't add up um, or didn't tie in with what the witness had reported. Damn, Owen, you fucked up, man. Mary had received a vicious beating. Owen was the first man to be hanged at Nutsford Prison, hand, hanged by Barry. You deserve it, mate. Barry B R R Y. So I have Thomas H. Bevan hanged the 17th of August, 1887, and he was hanged for the murder of his aunt. Aunt. This is funny, actually, because Helen kept saying she had, like, women's names in her head. Right. And they've all, all, both so far have killed women. Ooh, maybe we're looking at the wrong names. (laughs) It's still going to be a no, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) Howard Dean, Howard Dean. Uh, I feel like we shouldn't be mocking no, these dead no, people. Sorry. sorry. We are I'm, I'm actually sorry. Yeah. <laughs> we are respect. <laughs> <laughs> respect. <laughs> yeah. Henry Griffiths, which is Thomas's uncle, returned home from work to find his wife lying dead on the floor and his nine-year-old niece unconscious beside her. When the niece, Mary Jones, regained consciousness a few days later, she gave the police a statement that Thomas Bevan was... Ar- oh, sorry. And Thomas Bevan was arrested and tried for the crime. 18 shillings had been stolen from the house and a poker bent in the attack. So I'm guessing he beat it with a poker. Uh, it appears Thomas was caught in the act stealing from his aunt's purse and killed her. And when Mary Jones came in, he attempted to kill her too. Uh, weighing just eight stone, nine pounds, Thomas was given a drop of six feet on the 17th of August, 1887. Hot damn. Yeah, man. These are spooky enough. I know. I'm really feeling these Halloween seasons. We should be having the spooky lighting. Oh, do you want to just put a filter on? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Might be able to connect to it now. Oh, because then you'll mess... If we want to do green screen, you can't because the old lighting's messed oh, up. Oh, shit. You're oh, right. Why? Oh. Carry on. Richard Davies. Davies. Uh, 19. <laughs> so, the 8th of April, 1890. He was convicted alongside his brother, George, who was 17 of the murder of their, their father. And he'll say wife. Um... <laughs> Hey, father, wife. The 25th of January, they ambushed their father, also named Richard. He was 50 years old, on a quiet stretch of road on his way home from his shop. They initially planned to shoot him, but at the end, he was battered to death with an axe. What the fuck is wrong with How these you people? You someone to death with an axe. You just use been, the wrong end. Yeah, they're not sharp. And they obviously were sharp tools in the shed, were they? <laughs> sharp as axe <laughs> in the <laughs> old man. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. The, um, bad. We can cut that bit. Bad. Um, the fa- Scott Pilgrim, you know, yeah. he hits the girl and it goes, bad. <laughs> um, the father was brut- brutal to his family, often beating his wife and children. Both George and Richard were sentenced to death, but George was later reprieved and his sentence committed. So he kind of deserved it, the dad, is what we're getting from that. I don't know if that says commute. Commuted. Committed. Commuted. Commuted. Oh, yeah, commuted. It'll be, yeah. You've got to travel to Manchester. Yes. Such a commute. Oh, number four. This one. Don't touch my crutch. <laughs> Boy. Uh, number four. Felix Spicer. Which, that just sounds like a storybook name. Like a character from a game, doesn't it? Yeah. He was executed on my birthday. 22nd of August. I was not born in 1890. <laughs> 100 years before I was born. On the morning of the 25th of May, 1890... Felix was home from sea. At roughly 4 a.m., he slit the throats of his sons, William, aged 14, and Harry, aged 4. Fuck. Oof. That's good. Goosebumps. He also tried to murder his wife, who escaped from the house. Right up to the last minute, he claimed to have no recollection of the murders. And that was all she wrote. Literally. Uh, number five is William Hancock's. Um, 9th of August, 1905. He was a one-armed sheriff's, o- sheriff's officer. Ooh, like uh, a badass. Previ- I don't know if that's what it means. Um, <laughs> previously played football for Southampton. Uh, he was right. a bigger mist, left two wives who he wrote to before his execution. Um, William stabbed his 15-year-old daughter in the head. He threatened to also murder his wife, then ran out of the house and threw himself into the River Me- Mersey. Uh, he was hanged on the 9th of August, 1905. So these are hanged dates above yeah. the names. Yeah. Thank you for clarifying. God, this, uh, these people are pretty fucking... I, I expected it, being Nutsford, to not be as bad. Yeah. But then I realised that these people were hanged to death. So yeah. they must have been pretty bad. This, All these hangings... A lot of this happened in August. Edward Hartigan, he was 58 when he was hanged on the 27th of November in 1906. But the actual crime happened on the 7th of August. 
Uh, Edward, in a drunken rage, attacked his wife with a hammer, inflicting 19 wounds on her. Uh, Catherine Hartigan's body was found in the Stockport home. Uh, he immediately confessed. Considering that we mentioned The Shining when we were down in the cellar. Oh, God. There's been a lot of wives attacked with axes and hammers. Yeah. Which is a hammer in the book of The Shining, and it's a, an axe in the film. Uh, Jesus. Also, you'll hear on our new episode. Go check out our new episode, which came out today. They had three children. After his conviction, his sister visited him in prison, and he asked to settle a five-shilling debt um, to a, a what, what? Yeah, a publican, so he could die without that on his conscience. I don't know what that means. And maybe like a Catholic, right? Right. Like, yeah, he wanted to settle a debt before like a he died. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry, mate, but. You've already got this big fucking thing on on your conscience. Yeah. Never mind paying off a debt. You killed someone with a fucking hammer. Right. Uh, yeah, number seven after you, man. Seven, James Phipps, uh, 12th of November, Phipps. 1908. So he had one eye. So it was he either wore a scary bandana around his face or a glass eye on occasion. Can we call him the one-eyed Phipps? <laughs> Phipsy one-eye. <laughs> Phipsy one-eye. <laughs> Hanged for the murder of Elizabeth Eliza Warburton, age 10. Mm -hmm. uh, body was found by a local joiner her body was wet through apart from her shoes and feet which were still dry um, a piece of string was tied tightly around her neck although this had not been the cause of death she was bleeding from the nose and mouth and her head and had been forced down in the water so hard that it made a squelching sound as she was pulled out uh, there was a number of scratches on and Gosh. abrasions to her face and neck and discoloration to the neck and eyes there was a large contusion to the back of her head. Big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was alive when she went into the water. At his hanging, the reverend quoted the words of the hymn that was sung the previous Sunday at the jail service um, when Phipps was present. Abide with me fast... Yeah, fast forward. Fast forward the ever tied. Eventide. Eventide. Sorry, do you want to do the thing? I don't I, I don't know old poems. I can't read <laughs> Hannah. I can read my own terrible writing, but I can't read <laughs> Hannah's. <laughs> no, that's the thing. She, I can't read it. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <clears throat> should I get my uh, old timey filter, old timey music? There we go. Abide with me. Fast falls the eventide. The darkness deepens. Lord, with me abide. When other helpers fall and comforts flee help i feel like i've just summoned something yeah it just gave me goosebumps <laughs> fuck these fuck are you paper <laughs> fuck, get away ghosts <laughs> um and finally the famous composer john williams died when he was 38 uh the 19th of march 1912 was the date he was hung hanged he was hanged isn't it hanged he was hung hung he was like hung. a goat <laughs> <laughs> like a ghost <laughs> <laughs> yeah he was really pale and swinging <laughs> Wrapped in chains. His dick to he floor was, ratio he was, was flying around. <laughs> <laughs> so he was a former Welsh fusilier and uh, was employed as a painter. He was hanged for the murder of his estranged wife, Hilda Mary Josephine. What was the name, Helen said? Uh, I can't remember. It was on the. I think it was on the recording, but it doesn't seem to be in there. I've got Agnes or Edith, and all she right, said it fine. was an old time name. But it might have been. They're Hilda, old timey things. Yeah, so. and they've all been wives, so so far she's been fucking spot on. Um, and apart from father. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she was found with her throat slashed in a lane. John was found in a drunken state and confessed to her murder. So that's, that's the second time with the throat slit in that the final one right away they've confessed. Yeah. Uh, when asked before his execution if there was anything he wanted to say, he replied, I only want to say how fully I confess the crime for which I am convicted. I promise I will go to my death like a soldier and a man. Wow. He was hanged on the 19th of March, 1912, and this was the last execution to take place in Knutsford and in the entirety of Cheshire. And I'd like to say one more thing. I don't know if you know this. Jono, our old host. Yeah. His, I think he was great uncle, <coughs> was the last hangman in the British Isles. Holy shit. Yep. There's books about him. Yeah. That is insane. Yeah, my dad actually got his book. Ties this podcast has to everything. I know, yeah. Yeah. Nutsford connects to everything. Yeah. It's very strange. Ooh. So there we go. That sort of finishes off our little haunting. So I'm gonna put a little video at the end of this and you'll be able to see all the things that we saw happen. Uh because there's actually when once you have a look at 
them all back to back. Yeah. There was quite a few things that happened on that night. Uh, we didn't even mention about the giant storm, did we? Ooh, I, d I don't like the giant storm. Yeah. So we decided after that we weren't going going to stay because of what, what had happened. We, we got kind of freaked out. Which we've had a lot of shit from. Thank you, Kylex. Yeah, thanks everyone <laughs> for the ma for the ma for the ma severe amount of shit we've got. Yeah, it was a horrible place. It was not a nice place to be. No. And right above the bed, there was a window that I knew that if we slept there, there would be something up at the that blind window was broken down. as well, so we couldn't close it. Yeah, uh, you can see it in that last shot when we're in the room. I think when we go in, I think Connor does look up at the window, yeah. so you'll be able to see it on there. The storm was quite intense. So in the building, we didn't know anything was happening with the storm because the, the building's walls are so thick. Um, and the doors are so huge. The, the doors are like 12, 15 feet tall and thick, thick, solid hardwood. So you can't hear anything outside. And we packed up our stuff and made our way down to the main door. And, and as we swung it. these doors open, it was literally like a horror film. It was just torrential rain and yeah. lightning. And there was not, there was there was instances, wasn't there? Where there was like thirty seconds straight where there was just constant thunder. So when we opened the door, it was literally just like screaming at us, like you need to stay. Yeah, it, it and felt it was like, like it was trying to make us stay. I was, was I was so much yeah. more. I would wa rather have driven home. Like I I drove way below the speed limit. Yeah. Because yeah. I couldn't see in front of me. No, you couldn't. Unless see there was enough lightning within a 10 second period to light up the entirety of the road <laughs> it made it daytime it was it made it daytime like yeah. every 10 seconds it was ridiculous yeah but yeah it was awful it was horrible it was the worst drive i've ever done but i would but, rather that than have stayed there it was the worst yeah um, but we enjoyed it <laughs> oh hell yeah <laughs> and we'll definitely be doing more if this is I the kind of stuff i definitely want to get home of. shaken again and yeah. my girlfriend being like are you okay i told you not to drive back i was like shut up shut up i'm not let, staying let me be scared yeah no it, it was a pretty freaky experience yeah and when i got home i, th I thought i was gonna get struck by lightning because when i was unloading my car there was thunder right above me there was lightning and then thunder instantly right above me as I was trying to get all the stuff out of the car. So we had all the camera equipment and everything. So, yeah, that was pretty ferociously scary. Yeah, it was a rough experience. It was. But we hope you've enjoyed this. Oh, yeah. We hope We've you guys enjoyed it. I've taken years off my life for you. Definitely. Thanks. Definitely. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> and we'll be doing it again. So, shall we sign off there? Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thanks Sorry for watching, guys. it's taken a while for this to come out. But yeah, I know we've been crazy busy. All this extra fucking shit going on. And then, yeah, we wanted to make sure it's just right for you guys. Yeah, and we thought it was best to release it in October for the spooky season. So. Spook! 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 Let's spook away! Woo! Woo. <laughs> if we don't dissolve, I'm going to be so upset know, with you. leave it there. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Off. Whoa, Whoa, we're back. We thought of something. We have Whoa. a competition for you. <laughs> yeah. <So. laughs> All you got to do is comment below, and we're going to be choosing... A couple of you spooky individuals to be winning all these oh. spooky ghost notes. Yes. And we'll even stick a Grief Rito sticker right on them. That hit the camera. I know it did. I <laughs> for it. <laughs> yes. yes. It, so, yeah. comment below. Something that you liked. If you saw anything else that we missed on the video, let us know. Because there might be more ghosts in there. Ha! Oh, ghosts. Ghosts. Spooky ghosts. Let's spook away Don't again. Know what that face <laughs> oh. Oh. Is anyone there? Can you tell us your name? Did you know that?